Hey, this is Danielle. Welcome to the free video. So today I want to talk about Love Sack. This is a more volatile name. It's on the IBD 50 list, high growth ticker. They make some super comfy furniture. I've been thinking about checking out one myself, but more importantly, they have a great technical pattern and a lot of high short interest. We have about 17% high short interest in this name and we're right below previous highs and we have an earnings report coming up. So we're seeing an increase in IV. We have a squeeze. We're within the hot zone time frame. Um, so I mean, really all this thing needs is a catalyst. And at that point, if we could actually break out above these previous highs, you could see a pretty decent short squeeze. So looking at this ticker, um, it, it's a it's a little short dated for earnings. It's got earnings on December 8th. Um, but today it pulled back to 34 EMA, which is where I generally like my entries. And with the volatility today, if we could get the gift of it pulling back to the 50 tomorrow, that would give me a great entry to the upside, um, to trade this thing either for a run into earnings or for the earnings report or trade it post earnings. I mean, really you can do, you know, any of those three things. So it's just going to depend how it sets up um, with this because we don't know you know where it's going to be tomorrow i would say if if i got an entry between the 75 and 80 dollar price point which i mean you could take an entry here it's just a little high um that would be good for a trade going into december 8th however if there's not a good entry and let's say tomorrow it's up here and it just keeps going at that point, the run into earnings is probably going to be, um, you know, a missed trade situation, but you could still trade the short squeeze because there is an actual squeeze here. You are right by highs. Like let's say tomorrow it gapped up to 90 bucks. Um, well then at that point you're looking to sell premium to trade a momentum move instead of just focusing on like an eight day move into earnings. Additionally, something else that could be done is trade the actual earnings report. So if you're looking at this company and how they've done, I mean, they've been doing really well. They have two quarters where they fell post earnings, but for the most part, they've traded higher. Last quarter was pretty significant. Um, so, I mean, I would trade it to the long side, but if you didn't want to do that and you just want to make a neutral trade, depending on where they're sitting on earnings, you might be able to do that. It just is going to depend um, because this thing has really high IV. You can see down here in this part of the graph that the IV is been climbing, climbing, climbing. So um, that means that, well, you know, there's some premium there you could sell. So a couple different opportunities here, potentially buying the stock or buying long calls for a short dated run into earnings and getting out. Um, if, if you're not doing that, then look for a potential short squeeze and possibly get it on the breakout and ride a short squeeze. Or number three, you could just trade the earnings report. Actually, number four, you could trade the post earnings report. So those are all different options. Um, other than that, that's what I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great Thanksgiving week. For those of you who are not celebrating Turkey Day, um, have a great free Thursday, happy Friday, and I will see you next time. Hey traders, it's Danielle here with Simpler Trading. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and comment down below. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you will never miss the latest take from our trading experts. Did you know that we provide real-time trade alerts so that you know exactly what we're doing, exactly when we're doing it? Go to www.simplertrading.com to learn more. Good trading and we'll see you in the next video.